The real estate market in Guelph did pick up slightly for the month of January. Although January had historically low amount of sales, they were up slightly from what we had in December. And if we look at the average sale price across all housing types in Guelph, it remained relatively flat over the last three months. Now, if we break down pricing by housing category, the month of January, detached houses were up 6%, while townhouses and condos were actually down by 1%. However, you want to take the detached pricing with a grain of salt. Since there was such a low amount of sales, all it takes is a couple high-priced properties to start skewing the average sale price. If we look at the rolling average over the last three months, it appears that prices have gone up just very slightly. Most houses are selling on average for 98% of their list price within 30 days, which is a really typical market for the city of Guelph. The big difference is the number of homes sold in January was at a historical low. If you own a home that's in one of the neighborhoods that surrounds the University of Guelph, then this is going to be the best time of year for you to think about selling. Right now, we have tons of student parents out looking to secure properties for their child, and we're seeing a lot of these homes in those areas sell to multiple offers. For first-time buyers, this is an excellent time. Prices are down substantially, and they're likely as low as they're going to go. As far as interest rates go, a lot of people are anticipating that rates will start to come back down either later this year or early next year. For somebody who's looking to upsize, this is also a great opportunity because the gap between your house and the more expensive house that you are looking to purchase is going to be substantially less than it would have been in February of last year. Also, you can get away with a much smaller down payment, which makes things a lot more attractive for people looking to upsize. In the current market, we would recommend selling first to ensure that you get the most amount of money for your property. Also, we're going to see more homes come on the market in the next couple of months. So if you're looking to make a purchase, you should have a bit more selection at that point. I'm Brad Weil from Go Wild Real Estate, a group of professionals that are passionate about helping people build wealth in real estate.